What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires, and it would appear after their huge presentation earlier this week that there are still many more official reveals to come from Marvel Studios, breaking within the last hour earlier this afternoon from one of the most trusted Hollywood trades, confirming that Daredevil is headed to Disney Plus and on his own series. We're gonna break down exactly where this came from, read through the details in the article. They also announced the writers. We're also gonna talk about some of the rumors that have led up to this confirmation and where we may see him next leading into his own series. We're breaking down everything Daredevil now confirmed to be heading in his own series to Disney Plus. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're doing daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider scoop and stories like we're covering today everything in between so if that sort of things for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that'll automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway which we are right around the corner from the next one if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so this breaking within the last hour from variety and while i always tell you guys to take everything that's not official from marvel studios with a grain of salt variety is one of the most trusted industry insider trades so we can trust this headline as good as confirmed quote daredevil disney plus series in the works with matt corman chris ord set to write exclusive they go on to report quote a new daredevil series is moving forward at disney plus with variety having exclusively learned from sources that matt corman and chris ord are attached to write and executive produce they then go on to point out of course that charlie cox and vincent d'onofrio daredevil and kingpin respectively from the original netflix series which is now on disney plus both appeared in recent Marvel projects. Cox showed up in Spider-Man No Way Home, reprising the role of Daredevil, and of course, Vincent D'Onofrio was seen in the most recent Hawkeye series, reprising his role of Kingpin. We also know both are set to show up again in the recently announced Echo series, for Disney Plus from that original character in the Hawkeye series, we also know that that just went to production as well. Then they go on to comment about Corman and Ord that they've written for several projects, including Cover, Affairs, The Enemy Within, and The Brave, but reps for both Corman and Ord, quote, declined to comment, and of course, Marvel Studios reps do not comment on projects while they're still in development. That's been their long-holding policy for quite a while. Now, the rumors of Daredevil headed to his own project at Disney Plus have been around actually since late last year, since we officially saw him in Spider-Man No Way Home though, they picked up a ton of steam. This really just feels like the icing on the cake. You wouldn't get this character back after the success of his solo show on Netflix, start making him pop up in the MCU, and then not ever use him in his own series considering the weight of that character. But we do know of at least two cameos places he's set to show up as Daredevil between now and then, one of which I just mentioned, the Echo series, considering how integral he is to her character and the common foe in the Kingpin, it only makes sense. The second of which, something set to be released this year, She-Hulk, whose trailer just dropped earlier this week as well. Many industry insiders have said he'll show up in the series, some even specific pointing to the penultimate or finale of the series, basically the last two episodes as his place for his cameo. But regardless, of course, they're going to use Daredevil as much as they can in the MCU and where it makes sense. And for a legal comedy, the other prominent lawyer in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, of course, Matt Murdock. Now, amongst the ton of industry insider reporting and rumor mill regarding the show before its confirmation today via Variety, there have been several reports that as many of the original cast members as possible will be retaining the roles much in the way we're hearing about a ton of the Defenders also showing up in the MCU in the next year or so on Disney+. Plus but also that it may be a soft reboot of the character. This coming from Charlie Cox himself when talking about where Marvel Studios goes from here, explaining that it may not be right for them to pick up exactly where they let off the character, more of a soft reboot or going forward with the characters without looking back, not worrying too much about what was set up or not set up, done or already done on Netflix. I, I think that makes sense. It doesn't sort of shoehorn or harness Marvel Studios or the creatives in any certain way. And while yes, those series will coexist on Disney Plus, so it would be a little odd if you watch completely fresh to the project Daredevil 1, 2, and 3 from Netflix, then go into season four, and it's a completely different thing, but I think that's the best way forward anyway. Again, it doesn't really tie them to anything we know of those shows and the setup for those characters, but it's a loose connection, and I expect with their soft reboot, that's how they'll treat it the way they have already with these two characters, or seemingly so. If we get an overarching explanation, or if they just say that they were loosely connected anyway and they are of the same timeline without really addressing it, I don't think too many Marvel fans are going to be upset about that either. But I do hope to understand 
how some of these characters interacted with the snap and the blip. And with the earlier report today, I did a video on it, I'll make sure to link it at the end of this, that they were actually going to set Secret Invasion during the blip between Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. It seems as though Marvel Studios is still intent on exploring that, how it relates to characters and the MCU. So I definitely want to know about that as it applies to Daredevil. Also, Marvel Studios making sure to make room for a more violent content in nature with their most recent updates to guidelines and parental controls. That's my other hope for this show, and I know a lot of you guys are going to agree with me. Characters like Daredevil and Punisher, those original shows were so visceral and so violent, and really, it was the way that they shot the violent nature of Daredevil that made that show so awesome. Yeah, it was the long one-scene cuts where they would do the hallway fight scenes. There was one every season that was just so cool and definitely right out of the comics. And I want them to continue that on Disney+. Plus. Of course, they may try to tone it down some, especially for characters like The Punisher. It's very hard for me to imagine that original Punisher Netflix series showing up on Disney+, Plus, done by them. But there's plenty of room for him in an ensemble in the MCU and we have never seen Daredevil alongside other Marvel heroes yet. I cannot wait for that moment on the silver screen. Disney Plus appearances or not, I can't wait to see him in the bigger picture alongside some of these heroes. Uh, some of them just haven't gotten their due. Uh, another huge one is Wolverine, but only time will tell for when all this guys comes to fruition. Slowly, it's getting there. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below comments of course i know you're all hyped to see charlie cox back as daredevil and know there is no release date set for this yet if it hasn't even gotten its script written that means they haven't moved on from there it's going to be a while before this shows up on disney plus but let me know all your thoughts down below quickly let's jump into the giveaway stuff before i let you go okay we're still giving away playstation 5s every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million and we are right around the corner for the next milestone that's 960 if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other giveaways here at the channel all the same rules will always apply Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. And because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. You can also find me on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I would sincerely appreciate you checking my music out i really appreciate you checking this channel out we actually just had our four year anniversary at the channel and are very very close to approaching a million subscribers i cannot thank each and every one of you enough for all of your support here at the channel and as we push on into the future of the mcu i look so forward to sharing every moment with you guys be nice to each other take care of yourselves i'll see you out there